Hello friends, how are you? I'm Stranik Baradia. I'm back with another new video on Vessel Guideline. In our previous video, we have seen different type of collateral available for credit risk mitigation for credit risk and which were financial collateral, non-financial collateral and unfunded collateral. And also we have seen eligible financial collateral under simple approach and comprehensive approach. And in this video, we will see various techniques to reduce or mitigate credit risk. Bank use number of technique to mitigate the credit risk to which they are exposed to. For example, exposure may be collateralized by first priority claim in full or in part with cash or security or loan exposure may be guaranteed by third party or bank may buy a credit derivative or CDS to offset various form of credit risk. Additionally, bank may agree to net loan given to the borrower against the deposit. Now we will see various techniques to mitigate credit risk and each technique depend on type of collateral. So first we will start with financial collateral. So when counterparty or borrower provide financial collateral then we can apply LGD as 0% for collateralized portion and exposure counterparty's risk weight for uncollateralized portion or alternatively banks are also allowed to reduce the credit exposure to the counterparty when calculating their capital requirement to take the account of credit risk mitigating effect of collateral after applying haircut and we will cover haircut in our next video so for example suppose if abc bank has an exposure against mr xyz of 100 million rupees and mr xyz has provided gold as a collateral worth 80 million rupees then in such case, we will reduce exposure from 100 million to 20 million against Mr. XYZ or alternatively we can apply 0% LGD for collateralized portion which will eventually result in 0% risk weight for collateralized portion and capital will be required to be maintained only for the uncollateralized portion which is 20 million. So now move on to non-financial collateral. So non-financial collateral will have impact on LGD but unlike financial collateral here LGD will not be reduced to 0% rather by improving the transaction rating which is an input into LGD. Our supervisor has provided a formula to improve LGD which depend on level of collateralization. So for example if we have a collateral as receivable and which is over collateralized by 145% of the exposure then LGD will be 35% of that exposure. So now let's move on to unfunded collateral where guarantee or credit derivative are direct, explicit, irrevocable and unconditional and supervisor are satisfied that bank fulfill minimum operational requirement related to risk management process then they may allow banks to take account of such credit protection in calculating their capital requirement and under unfunded collateral we have two techniques for credit risk mitigation first is substitution approach and second is double default approach and under substitution approach EAD is divided into two parts first is collateralized part and second is uncollateralized part for uncollateralized part PD, LGD and AVCM of the obliger or exposure counterparty is used for RWA calculation and for the collateralized part lower of these three attributes are taken for risk weight calculation and now we will look at double default approach substitution approach does not fully reflect the additional benefit obtained from the presence of credit protection the additional benefit comes from the fact that bank would only suffer a loss if both exposure counterparty and protection provider defaults for the collateralized portion a different risk weight formula is used which takes into account both the pds of exposure counterparty and protection provider to come up with the double default factor a range of guarantor or protection provider are recognized. Therefore, only guarantees or protection provided by entity with lower risk weight than the counterparty will help in reducing the capital requirement as the collateralized portion of the exposure is assigned the risk weight of guarantor or the protection provider whereas for the uncollateralized portion, risk weight of the underlying counterparty is applied and no transaction in which CRM technique are used should receive higher capital requirement than otherwise identical transaction where such technique are not used. So now let's move on to our last technique which is on balance sheet netting. Bank may use the net exposure of loan and deposit as a basis for its capital adequacy calculation. Loan are treated as exposure and deposit as a collateral. The haircut will be zero except where we have currency mismatch. Where bank have legally enforceable netting arrangement for loan and deposit then they may calculate capital requirement on the basis of net exposure. 
and in the netting arrangement the full value of offsetting transaction fully and automatically cancel out the corresponding exposure one of the requirement is that the agreement must provide that in the event of non performance or insolvency or bankruptcy the outcome will be single net amount owed by one party to the another so similarly netting is also possible for off balance sheet where there exists a netting or isda agreement between bank and counterparty so for example loan and deposit in name of same counterparty or customer will be netted subject to certain condition and the capital requirement are then determined on the basis of net outstanding exposure now there is a fundamental difference between legally enforceable netting arrangement and guarantee in netting arrangement the full value of offsetting transaction are fully and automatically cancel out the corresponding exposure and there is no contingency whereas under guarantee and cds transaction all depend for their effectiveness on the solvency of the person providing the credit protection so this does not fully mitigate the credit and effectiveness depend on the solvency of protection provider so to summarize this technique under financial collateral we will reduce lgd to zero or we will reduce the exposure under non financial collateral lgd value changes based on the level of collateralization and under unfunded collateral like cds and guarantees we will use substitution or double default approach and at last we have netting now we will look at other item related to treatment of crm technique like pull off crm technique and in case where bank has multiple crm technique covering single exposure then bank is required to subdivide the exposure into portion covered by each type of crm technique and risk weight of each portion must be calculated separately now here we have come to the end of our video and i hope this has helped you to understand various technique of credit risk mitigation under basel guideline and if you think this can help others then please share it with your friends and colleagues please subscribe to this channel for more update on basel guideline and provide your feedback in the comment section below which will help us to improve thanks for watching and god bless you all